morning everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be swatching some beautiful watercolours sent to me by the very kind Inga at SA Watercolours. The palette she sent me is a Torino 48 palette and I cannot wait to see the colours myself and to share them with all of you. Inga has also given us some generous discount codes which I'll be including in the video description down below, along with the links to their store and this palette, of course. Now, the palette is beautifully presented and includes a travel brush, and I'll just unwrap it and open it so you can see what it looks like. Let's do that. I'm just gonna flip it over. And It comes in this metal box. I think there are a few options if you want to purchase this palette. One is the metal box option. One is a wooden palette. So check it out on their site. Um, I'll just open it up so you can see the palette in all its glory. So it comes with a list of all the colours that are inside and this beautiful paper. I'm just going to open it up and as you can see it has this travel brush which I'll just unwrap so that you can see it. It's a number 10 travel brush. Oh, I've got a bit of fluff on me, sorry about that. And there we go, that is the travel brush. But these are the gorgeous colours which I am drooling over and I cannot wait to swatch. So I'm going to set everything up as usual. I will start swatching. Just a disclaimer, I'm not going to swatch all the colours today. We'll see how many we'll swatch. <laughs> I'll see how long the video is but we are going to begin swatching this palette. So as I said I'll just set everything up and I'll be right back. So I'm going to start with Margarita which is a mix. It is PBR 29, PBR 24, PY 74 and PW 6. And I am going to swatch in mass tone first. Oh, I think I put too much water on my on my brush there, and it's not as mass tony mass tony is that even a word? No, it isn't, as I would have wanted. But oh my goodness, it's such a beautiful color. I have a fondness for um, like delicate yellows delicate yellows that warm yellows ah, and sometimes cool yellows as well but this is beautiful this is almost like a Naples yellow that is absolutely gorgeous I love it okay next we have Mandarin Orange Cadmium, which is PO20, I believe. Let's um, swatch that in mass tone first. Oh, that is, that is so nice. It's very vivid, very vivid. PO20 Cadmium. Um, they glide on the paper so well. Oh, they're a joy. A joy. Let's dilute that. These are happy spring summery colours which are perfect for the time. 
of year where I'm swatching them. However, <laughs> today it, it really did. It really started as a beautiful day. And then it wasn't. I was so hopeful that today would be like a brilliant day for swatching. Next we have Chromo Oro, which is PY34. This looks like it's going to be translucent, but I will attempt to swatch it in mass tone. Yes, it is quite translucent, very vibrant. Very vibrant. and dilute it. Beautiful. It reminds me a little bit the um, how vibrant it is of PY 150 which is nickel azo yellow it is not quite as vibrant as that but it has that kind of quality next we have and i hope i'm going to pronounce this correctly arancio ercolano which is po5 this looks like it's going to be opaque let's see Need a bit more water. Oh, okay. Not as opaque as I thought. Nope, not at all. I did add droplets of water to each half pan before I began so that the pans were ready. I don't only do this with handmade watercolours, I also do it with any other watercolours. It's just that it helps the colour lift much easier on the half pan. And that is my first wonky circle, I think. <laughs> first wonky circle. Let's dilute that. Oh, I... I think I can see some granulation in there. I think we'll see. Yeah, I can see it here. I think. Next we have coral, which is a mix of PY53 and PR146. And this looks delicious. Let's see what it looks like on the paper. Oh wow, all oh, this is opaque. This is very opaque. Wow, it is like wash. It's very opaque. I can't wait to see this diluted. See, let's dilute that, see what happens. More water. Oh, that's pretty. That is pretty. It's very pretty. Okay. Cadmium red is next. Which I I'm assuming is yes, very very opaque and very vibrant. Very everything. <laughs> <laughs> 
to be honest, cadmiums can be. Quite the drama queens of a palette because they are so, so vibrant. They're um, so opaque. Yeah, they're intense colors. and dilute it. Lovely. Okay, so next we have the Vermilion, which is PO20. Let's see, this looks like a very vibrant orange. It also looks like an opaque orange, but we'll see. Yes. Shifts toward red quite a bit, this one. And very opaque. Let's dilute that. Yes, very, very intense red orange. I think this page is so far has been <laughs> for fans of oranges and reds. Let's see what we have next. We have classic velvet next, which is a mix of PV32 and PB15 column one. Let's see. Wow. Oh. Wow. That is, that is a unique color, I'd say. I don't remember seeing something like that before. It's almost milky. It's like a milky, um, almost earthy, I could say as well. Yeah. Oh dear. Income wonky one. Incoming wonky one, not income wonky one. <laughs> I cannot speak. Okay, next we have Magenta Opera Rose, which is PR122. This is going to be a vibrant one for sure. Oh yes, <laughs> every opera rose I have met has been flamboyant. Yeah, very intense. Dilute it. Yes, my, my circles are just not behaving on this row. It always happens with the circles that I'm doing closer to me. I think my hand doesn't like the, um, the posture. 
So next we have manganese burgundy, which is PV16. That's lovely. That's very sweet violet. Dilute that. And now we have Garnet Red Quinacridone, which is PB19. Oh my goodness, that is just so vibrant as well. Very intense. Very intense. Let's dilute that. And the last one for this page is mauve, which is PB19 and PB23. That is nice as well. So far, well, I'm at the end. This looks like a very happy page. Very happy page indeed. With all these vibrant colours. Okay, so that is one row swatched. I think I am going to attempt to swatch a second page today as well. I'm back from playing push the table <laughs> and I think I've found a spot where there is enough light. It looks like it's sunny for the moment so let's take advantage of that. My next colour is red grape which is a mix of PR112 and PBK8 so this has black in it so I assume it's going to be quite dark oh my goodness that is beautiful oh that is beautiful that is really pretty and I'll dilute that see what it looks like diluted Oh, it granulates. I can see some granulation, which I always love to see. Oh, that looks really pretty. Okay, so that is red grape. Oh, look at that granulation. That is gorgeous. Okay, so next we have Uva Passa. I hope I pronounced that correctly. This has PR112 and PBK11. And I'm going to assume that this granulates because of the PBK11. Let's see if my assumption is correct. Let's do this. Oh my goodness, that's dark. Oh, that is beautiful though. That is gorgeous. That 
is so pretty. And let's dilute that. Ah, yay! I can see the granulation. Yeah. I, I think it's going to granulate really nicely. Lovely. Next we have Malachite Genuine, which does not have a pigment number. See, because it's a genuine stone. Oh my god. Oh my. Oh wow. Oh, that is beautiful. I think the tone of my voice just changed there from the excitement. That is beautiful. I don't remember if I've ever um swatch malachite but that is gorgeous wow and dilute it i do have a soft spot for teals but i, I mean this for a color that is just from stone that is so intense that is really intense that's exceptional that's beautiful okay moving on oh my goodness look at that granulation there and there as well it's so pretty beautiful textures here gorgeous next we have and i'm going to pronounce this hopefully without um messing it up verde paolo veronese and this is pg18 let's see whoa That is very intense. Not very opaque, I think. Yes, that's, that's very pretty. Next we have PB, sorry, PBR11, yes, and PG7. This, I assume, is going to granulate as well. Oh, I might need a little bit more. No, it seems to be quite um, transparent. And dilute it. That malachite is, is gorgeous. I really would like to make some palettes that are natural stone and um, natural minerals because I'm a pigment nerd and when it comes to natural pigments I get quite excited <laughs> um, and I, that is just gorgeous that is going to go straight into one of those palettes sorry um, yes I can see the granulation here I can see the black separating Little black particles here. Next we have Nicosia Green Earth which is PG, PG23. I 
This is, oh, that's nice. Very natural green. That is very pretty and diluted. pretty. That is granulating and separating quite intensely. That is really nice. Um, next we have sap green and this sap green caught my attention because it is just one single pigment which I'm not used to seeing. Uh, usually the sap greens on the market are mixtures of different pigments. This is just one, it is PG8. Let's see. That is beautiful. Now I'll do the diluted version. See what that looks like. That is beautiful. That reminds me of Zeki's sap green. I wonder if it's the same pigment. It is beautiful. Next we have Verde Vagoni or Verde Vagon. I'm not sure. Sorry if I just totally <laughs> mispronounced that. It has PG7, PBR11, PY42 and PB27. This looks quite earthy. And it looks almost like a, yeah, a terra verde. Very beautiful olive green. Talking about olive green, our next colour is olive green and it is PY42 plus PBR not available. So there is a mystery PBR in there. Oh, I think I might need a bit more to do mass tone. That is lovely. That is lovely. Next we have Terra Verde Antica, PG23 again. The Nicosia Green Earth was PG23. See if this differs. It looks, that looks quite cool. This looks like it's going to be more olivey, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to get mass tone from this. Terra Verdes are Terra Verde. <laughs> Terra Verde. <laughs> Terra Verde is usually quite um, like a, a difficult colour to lift off the pan. Not that this is lifting with any difficulty. It's just one of those colours that 
quite weak. But it's so pretty, it's beautiful. Next we have Lime Green, which is going to be a vibrant one, I can tell. PG7 and PY1. Yeah, that's going to be one vibrant green. Yes, it is. I can see it. Oh my goodness. Ooh, almost fluorescent. Almost fluorescent. Very bright. This kind of green, if I had in my palette, I'd probably just use like a just a single drop in my green mixes if I just wanted to make it a little bit more vibrant. I don't think I could actually paint just with this colour, but that's just me. That's just my preference. This is, whoa! This is very vibrant. And the last colour is Teal Blue Lagoon, which is PG7 and PB15 column 3. Oh, that's nice. Very vibrant though. Very vibrant. Our two last colours are quite vibrant. And diluted. Yeah. Such a summer colour. As it's called Teal Blue Lagoon as well. It's very beautiful. But very vibrant. Okay, so those are our colours. I'm just going to move everything and just put everything, the whole swatching into, into shot. Okay. So that we can see. So these are the first 24 colours and they are beauties. They're beautiful. Um, I'm just going to pick out what my favourites are so far might you know add to them I will add to them afterwards I'm sure but my favorites so far are the margarita I love this soft um, warm yellow I love this Arancio Ercolano because of this granulation here it's just so unique I like it I really really like it um, here, I mean, most of them are quite vibrant for me. So I think I, from the, the rest, I would probably choose the more mauve. The mauve is really pretty. Um, this page has a lot more of colours that I would use. I love the red grape. I love that uva passa. I, the malachite. The malachite is just... It's jaw-droppingly gorgeous. It is beautiful. I love it. Um, I love the sap green. The verd forest, for, verd forest that I can't speak. <laughs> I like because it has this granulation. It's really pretty. But it has PG7 in, which is a phthalo and will stain way too quickly for me to use. So I love it and I will admire it but I don't know if I really I diluted it really heavily um, I could use it with much more ease so it didn't stain as fast as it, as it usually does um, the, all these greens I love um, these are way too vibrant for me I appreciate them but they're not my first choices so these are the colors what do you think they are gorgeous. They're really lovely to use. Oh, and I love the coral. I forgot about the coral. I love the coral as well. 
okay so i love the mandarin orange when it's diluted okay i'm gonna <laughs> i'm gonna stop here because i'm just gonna continue adding and adding so um those were the 24 colors from the 48 palette so next video i will be swatching the next 24 and i hope that in the next video the the lighting will be more stable because it has been all over the place today um so yeah i'm just going to film on a day where i know that the light is just going to stay like that it's most likely going to stay like that like in one position just as is because it has been shifting in and out and i've been talking way too much about the light today so i am sorry about that but if you have stayed with me so far thank you thank you so so much um i hope you like the colors i will be leaving the links down below as i said the links to this palette and to the essay site also i will leave the codes the discount codes i think they're for 30 percent off various things so you can um go and check that out um and yeah i just wanted to say thank you thank you so much for being here if you like this video please like this video hit the like button so that the youtube algorithm thingy knows that i exist and <laughs> shares me around <laughs> shares my videos around um, to other people um if you would like to subscribe it would be great it would be an absolute honor if you would like to subscribe to this channel and stay with me and swatch colors and try all things watercolor together um if you would like to subscribe hit the subscribe button and also the notification button so that youtube will let you know when i next have a video ready to be uploaded um what else i love your comments love 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 your comments so if you have something to say anything about the colors anything really just leave a comment below and i try to answer as many as i can i am going to leave you here i am going to say my little bit about hope and how you should not let go of it do not let go of it whatever happens in your life things change things are fluid they it's not it's never going to be as black as it is now things will get better and for us to get through to that bit where things are better, we need to hold on to hope. So just hold on to hope. Um, I'm holding right there with you, I promise. So I will leave you here. After I've just bumped the camera, I will leave you here. I'm sending you all my love and gratitude as always. Thank you so much. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Bye for now. Bye.